The Q series, like other successful aircraft designs, has been stretched from the original 73-foot Q100 to the 107-foot Q400, providing approximately double the seating capacity. With the longer length of the aircraft comes a requirement that the flight crew must be aware of the aircraft pitch attitude during the landing flare and touchdown. The extended fuselage and excessive pitch attitude can combine to make a fuselage strike a possibility. The potential point of contact on the Q400 is further forward than on the Q200 and is in the vicinity of the touched runway sensor on the aft portion of the main fuselage. The Q300 is virtually the same as the Q400 with respect to the potential for fuselage runway contact. Therefore, the SOP and pitch awareness diligence, as detailed in this video, must be applied to the Q300 model as well. The theoretical contact angle on a firm landing is approximately 7.5 degrees compared to 9.5 on the Q200. Allowances for rate of descent and runway crown must be made. For the Q400, a runway crown can reduce the aft fuselage contact angle by up to half a degree. Therefore, the potential for aft fuselage contact is reduced to 7 degrees pitch. The importance of not exceeding the AFM limit of 6 degrees in the landing flare is evident. If a higher than normal descent rate develops during landing, the temptation to control this descent rate by pitching up must be avoided. Careful application of power is the required technique of controlling the descent rate in the flare through to touchdown. A slight increase in power will increase airflow over the wing and produce additional lift, even if forward velocity does not change very much. This alone can significantly reduce the rate of descent. The increase in power may need to be made. maneuver until touchdown. The standard operating procedures recommended by Bombardier Aerospace call for extra vigilance of the pitch angle below 100 feet during flare and landing and use of power to control rate of descent. The PNF will closely monitor the pitch angle and state the pitch attitude any time the pitch is greater than or equal to 5 degrees. If the pitch attitude exceeds 6 degrees, the PF must initiate corrective action to reduce the pitch immediately. A combination of disciplined procedures and techniques, and ensuring that the aircraft is always operated in accordance with the AFM, will eliminate The following video sequences will demonstrate the correct technique for landing the Q400 under a variety of conditions. During a normal flap 35 approach, the aircraft is descending at approximately 700 feet per minute. At reference speed, or VREF, the pitch is approximately 2 or 3 degrees nose down. Landing checklist. Landing gear. Down 3 green. Flaps. 35 set and indicated. Condition levers. Max. Lead air 1 and 2. Min and on. FA notification. <phone rings> Landing checklist complete. At less than 20 feet above touchdown, the pilot brings the aircraft nose up and into the flare, reducing power to allow the aircraft to descend to the runway. The pilot sets the power levers to disc after touchdown. During the flare and touchdown, the pitch changed from 2 degrees nose down to 3 degrees nose up. The flare consisted of approximately a 5 degree pitch change. During a flap 15 approach, descent is a little faster, around 800 feet per minute. At reference speed, or VREF, pitch is between 0 and 1 degree nose up. 
Just before touchdown, pitch approaches 5 degrees as the pilot selects flight idle, then disc after touchdown. Again, the flare consists of approximately a 5 degree pitch change. In a demonstration of rapid power reduction and recovery, our pilot has to rapidly reduce the sink rate prior to touchdown. Just as the pitch reaches 5 degrees, then 6 degrees, the PNF initiates the pitch callouts. 5 degrees. 5 degrees. 6 degrees. Correcting. The pilot immediately applies power and the descent rate is arrested before the plane touches down. If the approach becomes destabilized and descent rate cannot be easily regained, conduct a go-around. 